Dan, after two tough one-run losses, you guys come back and get a one-run win over West Virginia. Talk about the uh, performance overall to get back on the winning column. Well, this whole weekend so far has been a bunch of one-run tough games, and you know, I, I thought uh, uh, from a mental standpoint that we've battled and we've done a good job. Uh, we just haven't come up with a lot of big hits in, in crucial situations. But our pitching staff has been so good. Uh, John Kravitz went out uh, after two you know, tough losses and, and gave us a great start. Uh, I thought our bullpen did a good job, and we found a way to score two runs and, and didn't get the ball out of the infield. So you know, it's just about finding ways to win, and, and when things aren't going you know, great for you, just uh, being able to battle through that, and, and that helps you from a mental standpoint. Yeah, tough conditions today, pretty rainy all day, but the guys battled through, weren't able to get the game one against Kent State, but came back and showed that resiliency in game two. Yeah, you know, that the first game was tough, and we, we had opportunities to win that game and, and, again, just made too many mistakes, uh, lose a tough one, and then, again, as you said, in, in poor conditions, uh, found a way to, you know, to uh, get a win after we had a one-run lead. And, uh, tie, they tie it up in the eighth inning, and then we find a way to score in the ninth, and Reed Roper comes in and does a great job for us uh, in the ninth inning to close it down. All right, one more game tomorrow against Coastal Carolina to close out the Chanticleer Classic. The Atlanta are 8-2-1. Stay tuned all season long on FightingAtlanta.com.